What's up guys? BTBS here. Welcome back to another episode of Bob Has a Butchers. Today I am having a butchers at a game very near and dear to my heart since I first started playing it about half an hour ago. Uh, this is Foul Play and this is the second game that Steam randomly gave me a like 30% coupon, a 30% off coupon for. So I decided to just start just start playing it. Sorry, just filling with my microphone. It seems a little bit quiet. It should be fine. I did some pre-recordings. So yes, foul play. Uh, I think the best thing to do is just jump straight in. Uh, so this game can actually be played local multiplayer by uh, one person using an Xbox controller and the other person using the keyboard, which is very interesting. But I think we're going to jump in as Dashford. Oh, it's dashing little young man right there. Dashing man. So let's uh, see. We've got a couple of different things. I played this for a little bit. Uh, actually, I like this game. It's very much... very. It's, ve it's very much fun, don't you know? Let's just jump into the first one here. Always expect foul play. Oh, Horatio. Ooh. Is that what you're going to say? Ah, oh, fine. I'm going to read it then. Good evening. I am the renowned demonologist Baron Dashford. I hunt the dark and monstrous things in this world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, indeed. I have spent my life binding and banishing the unspeakable, and tonight I promise to recount these adventures for you. Hmm. I fully intend to. You will know everything, I promise. <sighs> you. You may not thank me for it. Oh, look at that dapper motherfucker. Mr. Scampwick? Hello, Governor. It was Cairo, 1895. The British Empire had lost contact entirely with a dig site. I immediately expected foul play. God, who's that? Oh, I don't want to do a racist accent. Let's just come, Mr. Dashford. It's just over the next rise. I'm not doing a racist accent. So, uh, yes, this game is very fun, actually. It's uh, it's sort of like a Castle Crashers, but with an extremely racist twist on it. Bandit! Hand delivered as promised. I shall expect a generous cut. You intend to rob us, gentlemen? Goodness no, Mr. Dashford. We intend to kill you first. And then loot your corpses. Classic Whitechapel tourist trap, sir. I should have clocked earlier. I suppose we can't blame a chap for trying, Mr. Scampwick. Let us make this quiz quick, Mr. Dashford. <laughs> oh, I intend to. So yes, the game this reminds me of the most is Castle Crashers. You've got your general, you've got your general two versions of attack. You've got light attack, and then you've got your heavy attack, which does more damage, takes longer to charge, and has a greater like knockback effect on it. But um, Something that this game really reminds me of, which is strange, is actually Batman. So if you've played Batman Arkham Asylum or Arkham City... Oh no! I was supposed to read that dialogue! Fuck! Uh, if you've played Arkham Asylum or Arkham City, you'll notice these instinct marks coming up above their head. And uh, that is exactly what it is in Batman, where it allows you to instantly counter and parry an enemy's attack. And all you have to do is press a certain button. I'm actually using an Xbox controller right now. Listen, listen. So, yeah, I'm actually using an Xbox controller. Because uh, this game, curiously, is, like, uh, optimised for an Xbox controller. All of the, um, like, prompts on screen are for Xbox controllers. Uh, quite. Alright, let's see if we can get some dialogue. Nope. Okay, so all of the prompts are on screen are for uh, Xbox controllers, so it's just simpler for me to not have to think about various things all at once. Oh no, the red guy! He's got to be much harder than the others. He's got different clothes, bro. So uh, I've actually 
picked up a couple of uh, combo moves from like completing this and the next level and throwing people around like that is actually one of them so uh, normally what you can do is just parry somebody by pressing B on the controller which lets you jump you do like a backflip and uh, see if I can get him to throw Whee! knocked it back at him that's an ace return right there there's, uh, there's certain names for special moves and uh... <laughs> This game's got such a good unintended. <laughs> this game's got such a good sense of humor when it comes to stuff like that. Like the um, the dead bodies will uh, be pulled off the side of the screen by an old um, like a, a shepherd's hook, a crook, I think it's called. And occasionally you'll just see them get up and they'll move to the bottom of the screen and just scamper into the audience because. Um, the sort of, I don't know if we want to call it a joke, but basically everything that's going on is a play on stage, hence the audience. It can't be a joke when it's that obvious. But uh, for example, some very some uh, things are uh, interesting, like, obviously I'm not using any sort of dangerous weapons, yet they are, but I don't actually have a health bar. I have up the top of the screen in the centre there, you can see a mudo meter. And that mudo meter is actually uh, my health bar. And basically, the more I perform combos and uh, flashy looking moves, the better the mood of the audience. And the audience mood is basically my health. So whenever I get hit, their mood goes down because they don't like seeing me get hit, is uh, what the game goes with there. So, yes. Um, this game is very Castle Crashers reminisc, uh, including the giant bosses who obscure you in their mountainous rolls of flab so you can't see your own character. And, uh, oh, I leveled up, nice. And it is also very Castle Crashers in that it is extremely button mashy. Like, I do not want to use a keyboard for this game because I feel like I would be buying a new one every few hours. Oh, into the top hat, into the top hat! Oh look, it's him! Gah! Scampwick! Are there any other Whitechapel customs we should share with our good friend? Depends whether we can rustle up a sock and a set of billiard balls, sir! Invaders! Inf infidels! Alarm! Oh, he's a big guy. S remember what I taught you about larger foes, Scampwick? Aim for the crotch, sir. Excellent! Carry on. Yeah, bitch, I'ma beat your ass. I'ma beat you down, motherfucker. I will kick the shit out of you. Wee hoo! Yeah, oh no. Fuck. Ah, you see that? I slyly jumped over him. So this guy isn't even a boss, he's just like a mini boss. <clears throat> but uh yeah, I must say, I am very much enjoying this game. Uh, basically, I'm only going to do a Bob Has a Butchers on games that I am really enjoying at the time or uh, just enjoy a decent amount and want to let everyone else know about. Let me get over here. Bing! So, uh, basically, you've got very simple jump, light attack, heavy attack, and block, parry, uh, reflect. Uh, anything that gets thrown or fired at you, you can reflect. I think apart from certain boss things, like a boss with a cannon, and he's, uh, you can't shoot his cannonballs back at him. Oh, another one of these. Let me use a special power here. This is, uh, I'm not, I can't even remember what this mode is called. I like to call it something st like uh, stereotypically British. So it would be like core blimey governor mode. Because that's what you American that's what the Americans think, right? But anyway, yes, I got a very high combo there, and everybody in the audience threw their top hats. And uh, I don't know if they were before, but they're definitely not now wearing top hats. I don't see a single hat in the audience. I should probably look at the guy I'm fighting. So yeah, you can actually just wander around until you walk into the right spot, triggering it. Which I like. I like how the whole thing is a play. Fools, my men will have you suffer a thousand cuts. Boo! Mr. Dashford's gonna mess you right up, mate. Ain't you, Mr. Dashford? 
Mr. Scampwick, that child seems to be in the midst of a terrible fit. Reckon he's a big fan of yours, sir. Save him till last, Mr. Dashford. Then kick and have Mr. Scampwick kick him in the unmentionables. Hmm. Above all things, we must win the audience. My uh, all my accents have just blended together now. Follow his advice, and this is where the uh, game actually teaches you about challenges, which I think I can bring up. If you see on the side there, the moustaches. I have three challenges: perform a perfect scene, take out the bandit leader last, and achieve a 50x combo battling the foreman. I haven't done the third one, which is surprising, because I've got a 50x combo fighting this guy. But basically, if you complete the challenges, you earn a charm or something, if you complete all of them in one scene, which I have which I haven't done, so I don't know what that's like. So, you know, maybe I'll get a 50x combo against the uh, foreman this time. Who knows? Oh, jump, jump! Ah, oh, you bastard, he got me. Yeah! See, I ain't no lady. I don't like using them light attacks. I don't care if they can't be interrupt if they can't be interrupted. I'm just I'm just out there with the heavy attacks representing. Oh, smack it! Eat it! Suck my dick! Yes, there we go. Oh, here we go. Another top hat, and the scene has changed to a desert. Oh God, what's this? It's backing off. Okay. Oh, okay, now there's more of them, and they've kidnapped that big guy. Damon Broken. Sir? Ooh. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> he forgot his lines. <laughs> Seraph actually pointed out to me earlier, the uh, the kid I've got with me is an old-fashioned English chimney sweep. Yes, he is, sir. I've got your chimney. I'll sweep it out good and proper for you. Defend yourself, Mr. Scampwick. You'll get no quarter here. So, these guys are under demon control, I think is the whole point there. It says demon as to be different, or maybe demon is a word that used to mean demon in Old English. I don't know. All I know is I am smacking these bitches up. I mean, look at this shit. I can easily get myself a 50 combo right here. Magnificent display. More top hats in the air. Everybody's dead. Perform a perfect scene. I've done that before. This guy. This is a big guy. Hello. Oh, this is the foreman. Okay. So I need to get a 50 combo here. So what I'm going to do is activate this special mode. Because, uh, interestingly enough, this special mode actually doubles all your combos that you gain. So if I do one hit, I get two combos. And nothing happened. God damn it, I was not good enough. Bosses are usually a little bit OP. So, you know. Let's just keep smacking these guys up, see if I can get this 50 hit combo. Just to see what a uh, thing looks like. What a charm or whatever. Nope, there goes my combo again. Oh, man. And the foreman's actually got a health bar, which is interesting. Yes! Smack him! Kick him in the ghoulies! Hit him in the unmentionable, sir! Oh! Yeah, by the look on his face, I actually did. Poor bastard. Oh, no! No! Dodge! 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 Oh! I was actually uh, parrying, apparently. Yes! Suck it! I just threw a guy at you! Yeah, that's right. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'll throw people at you. I will hit you in the face with one of your own guys. Ah, more guys. Fuck. Run. Right, I unlock this again. Let's see if I can get a good combo going. Good show! Come on. Couple more hits. Yes! 50 hit combo against the fucking foreman. I was really trying to get that right there. So I unlocked something called a charm according to the game's info screens. Which I'm guessing is like an equip that like, you know, more health, faster attack speed, something like that. Just some sort of generic stat buff. But I'm very glad the first time I did that it was on camera. That feels badass to do. So uh, that special meter gaining mode is... Um, gotten by filling up your uh, your health bar once 
So basically just get the crowd super interested. He was off his rocker! They were Damon broker, Mr. Scampwick, undoubtedly. Yeah, it seems we've come to the right place. Be cautious, follow me. Don't worry about him, just leave him fucking sparkle on the floor. Uh, I got a three star rating and I beat my previous score by 3,000 points. That's not bad. New move unlocked. Chief of 50 hit combo. New charm unlocked. Awesome. Let's hit continue here just to see what we've got. Uh, parry pile driver or how to bring a fellow down to earth. So, as before, when a blackguard attacks, hit B button whilst he's sing, uh, signalling his intent. While he is still reeling from the unfortunate role reversal of the situation, hit Y in order to slam the fellow bodily to the ground. Top tip, pile drivers hit enemies all around you when, dri when delivered. Use them to clear space in crowded battles. Cool. Uh, by completing all the... Uh, you have unlocked a charm. Plus three combo for every successful parry. Nice! You can have two charms before starting an act. Oh, yes. Each charm bestows a unique boost. Experience, experiment with different combinations and try and unlock them all. Oh, this game has just gotten even better. Let's... Mm, I'm not sure. Let's do just a little bit of this. I want to show you guys what the uh, uh, projectile enemies look like. Seems awful quiet for a dig site, sir. Something. Something's stolen all measure of sanity from those men, Scampwick. I intend to find out what. Well, I suppose it won't take very long. Are you, blackguard, you vagabond, pile driver! Nope, not pile driver. So let me see if I can smash someone with a pile driver. Oh, that's a pile driver right there. My pro my problem is when I see that come up, I just start mashing B. So uh, yeah, but that will make it a lot easier for me to get combos later on. Now all I have to do is twat someone away with a good old. Um, Caught you move, and he just and I'll get an extra three combo. I love all this little stuff in the background, where it's just like we can t you can tell it's a play, but that's for the audience inside the game, not for you. Oh, I don't know. I just I really like it. I think this game's got real character to it. And uh, oh, perform a perfect scene. Ah, oh, maintain a combo through an entire wave of enemies, eh? Smack your bitch up, sir! I believe I will! And... Smacked... To beyond that of what a bitch would be, eh? To be... Smacked beyond what a bitch would be, dear sir. Oh god, he's got a gun! And I believe that is an old English soldier from when we owned India. Because he's wearing a red coat like that. It looks like a red coat. Easy lad, who did this? General Kane must keep order. Dot, dot, dot. Cough, cough, splutter. I die. He's gone, sir. We must locate this dig side barracks, Mr. Scampwick. I intend to ask this General Kane some questions. Oh no, more of them. Your bitch, I intend to upwards be smack. Wait, what? I'm just confusing myself now. Your bitch, I intend to upwards be smack. Oh, I lost my combo. No more perfect scene for me. I suppose if I was doing that, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't use these power attacks because they knock enemies too far away, too quickly. Smash! Knee drop, bitch! How do you like the taste of good old British knee? It's not tea, it's knee. Ah, I love a cup of knee in the, f in the morning. Look, he's just scampering off down the bottom there. 
I thought you were dead. God damn it, Champwick. I'll keep an eye on them bodies. I want to see if they move. Because they're just sitting there with X's for eyes. And it's just, it's just funny stuff like that that I really like about this game. I feel it gives it real character. Where instead of um, being like, oh, should we have the bodies fade from sight to lessen the CPU load? They were just like, nah, fuck it. Let's animate them, leaving the screen, and uh, show that we don't give a fuck. Because that is, that is just, I don't know. I'm not the most eloquent of people whilst I'm gaming. But those of you who have been watching my videos for a while will already know that. I, uh, I do often talk a whole load of bollocks. There's one thing I really like about this game is it um, it doesn't penalise you for just button mashing. There is possibility for you to put real combos and effort in there. Like that, I just got a 50 odd combo without even trying. So there is possibility for real strategy in battle in this game and yet um, you can just button mash and do most, I'm guessing all of the game that way. The game doesn't penalise you for wanting to do combos, it doesn't penalise you for not wanting to do combos. And it is extremely rewarding seeing all those hats get in the way of the screen because I know that means I hit a 50 combo. 75 combo! Blast! I'm good! No! I lost my combo! There's an achievement for getting a hundred combo, which I really wanted to do. Ah, uh, I'm totally out of it now. Right, let's reposition my arms. Smack this bitch up. There's actually uh, another challenge on this for getting the stage crasher, which is for throwing people into stage items. That's one of the moves that have a name. There you go, throw enemies into three breakable items. Just like that. Uh, into the top hat. Limey. Quickly, Scampwick. Inside. <laughs> Fuck, that's a big cannon. I suppose a cup of tea's out of the question then. General Kane, I presume. I am the only man capable of helping you now. Stand your men down. It's far too late for that. What did you find here? Why are you so afraid? Fire! Blimey! They shooting bullets at us! Oh, uh, I don't know, I imagine uh, General Kane guy would have a Scottish accent. So maybe I should have gotten Terry from the Bully series to do that one for me. Because I can't do accents unless it is my own accent or a stereotypical racist accent. I'm very good at racist accents. Ah, smack! Eat! Fucking! Sword! Ah! Bullet! So yeah, apparently, Champwick here. Champwick? I forgot his name already. Fuck me. Oh, how can I forget his name? Oh well. Apparently he can backflip and deflect bullets. Perform two ace returns, eh? I can do that. Ace return, bitch! Smack! Eat! Pole! I probably shouldn't say that, because uh, that, that has two very different meanings. Splendid! So the game reminds me on several fronts of different games. Mainly it reminds me of Castle Crashers. You've got your general side-scrolling, 2.5D uh, with uh, beat em up And then it also it has the bosses and the combo moves and the variety of enemies, but uh, very... Like, overall, it doesn't have that many moves, but you'd be surprised when you think you only have two attacking buttons, how many moves you actually get. But uh, then it also reminds me of Batman a little bit, with the ability to uh, build your combo meters like that by using the different uh, attacks and skills during the battle, and having the whole, um, like, sense going off when they're about to, when they're hostile and about to attack, and being able to respond to that in a single button press and then having multiple options from there, so in some ways it actually surpasses the uh, the combat system from uh, the Batman games. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so then it also, it reminds me a bit of Devil May Cry, because it's got the light attack 
heavy attack, just smash up everybody. Mm. A scarab motif. It couldn't be Al Bakra. Al Bakra, sir. A city so cursed it was buried beneath the desert for all eternity. Sounds like Coventry. Ha ha ha. Funny. That is that is not even dry British wit right there that a lot of people may have heard of. But yes, it's uh, it's combat system also reminds me a lot of Devil May Cry. Being able to deflect incoming bullets and having the combo meter build giving off a um, it's like a named term for each combo. So you know you've got it's got like um, all you've got okay, all right, and then you've got like splendid and marvelous. So that uh, it does really remind me of a lot of games all in one. Perfect scene. And uh, the thing I care about the most is that this game is just fun, and I absolutely would love to play it with somebody, just to see, because uh, apparently it gets even better when you've got more players. I think you can only have two players at maximum, but um, like I said about the combo meter thing, when you go into this mode, and it doubles your combo, it actually adds a times two multiplier for every playable character. So if I had someone else playing with me, I'd get a times four multiplier, meaning, you know, a 200 hit combo would not be hard to do. All I'd have to do is actually only land 50 hits, and if a good few of those just so happened to be reaction moves, you know, that's four hit, that's um, three hits in one go right there. So when you when thinking about the achievements or trying to get the highest combo possible sort of thing, there's a lot that you can do. Oh, you're still there. Stick my pole up your ass. I think this is actually the boss fight for this level, so I might as well just finish this level off. Stand back! It's been promised to me. It was buried for a reason. No. Yeah, okay, I, I don't know where those accents have gone, and I am absolutely killing my throat. Get back here, you bastard. Yes, smack your bitch up. Do, do, do. Eat it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, he, ha he has actually just got a cannon in his hands. And it, it would appear to be made out of solid gold. So that should give you some idea of, you know, how crazy and badass this individual actually is. Ace return, bitch. It's actually not a bad idea. If I stay at a distance and just keep ace returning bullets to people... And by the way, an ace return is the move that happens when you um, parry against a thrown item like a bullet or a tomahawk. Perform a cannonball combo by hitting three enemies in a single throw. Nice. I'm losing! I almost died! Must get this stage back on my side! Need audience approval! Basically, I'm on low health. Ah, oh, no, I'm smashing it now. I'm not on low health anymore. This is one of those games where it's like, uh, oh, this boss could be extremely dangerous. So what we're going to do is chuck in a whole bunch of smaller enemies, because smaller enemies allow you to get health back. But most of the time, the smaller enemies in there just make it harder to actually kill the boss. No, oh, get away! Explosions! Oh, see that? I've been talking about racism, and now this Scottish guy's in blackface. The king waits for you in the city. I... You know what? I'm not. I'm just going to stop doing voices, and I'm probably going to finish this episode here. So, yeah, guys, this has been Foul Play. Even the name is a pun. Oh! Who saw that one coming? I did. I played this game a little bit. Oh, Encore. What the fuck? Is this like, kill as many as I I've not seen this before. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Oh, bloody, blimey, bloody hell. I don't know what's going on. It appears to be just smack bitches up as much as you can. Oh, there's a clock down the bottom. Oh, you shot me. Well, that just will not do. Magnificent Encore. I got an extra thousand points. Okay. I don't know how I unlocked that, but that was really cool. 
And I got the third challenge in this one as well, which means I unlocked a new charm. Awesome. Let's take a quick look at what this charm is. Plus Y. My next charm is the their, their mood drops less when I take blows. So basically it's the same as having more defense or more health. Okay, cool. Oh wow, okay. So you can actually just look at these. 15% more fame. Mood meter increases faster. Dodge distance. Special move meter. Pile driver attack range increase. Audience move takes longer to drop over time. Oh, 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 before I finish, I have to show you some little things. So everything has flavor text in this game, like uh, like this. They found the boy in the old bell tower, clutching a bloodied, broken talon. He claimed to have no memory of the symbol he'd drawn, nor the animals he'd slaughtered for ink. Okay, that was, that was a bit creepy. Um, basically, everything in the game has a whole load of flavor text. And if you go back to the start here you have a Damon Diary, which is sort of like a bestiary. So you can have a look at um, Ustaklia Leknov, Lenkov, whoever this is. Not a clue. But then the rest of this place is empty. And it, there's just information on stuff. But the stuff, it really makes me laugh. If I look at my first hunter's guide and see this bloke, it says, uh, call me old fashioned, but I can't help feel more care should be taken with high explosives when in a close conflict situation. And there's just some really funny stuff in here, so if you do pick up this game, I recommend checking out some of this stuff. So um, here we have the basic parry and the throw. Uh, it's called the parry throw, or how to do away with ne'er-do-wells. A thrown enemy temporarily disables a big enemy. How's that for turning the tables? Huh, interesting. But yeah, everything has a bunch of uh, flavour text, and it's all in ever so slightly offensive British, like, idioms. Uh, like at the top here. Uh, Mr. Dashwood said people act differently in foreign parts, and make no mistake, this fella was proof. Fella. Yeah, that's, that's sort of a British idiom right there. He filed his teeth down to points. Now where I grew up, people respected a good set of teeth. You could walk, you could sell a tooth for a farthing on Chandler's Wick Avenue. See, it is just, it's just, oh, I don't know, it's just, uh, I like it. <laughs> I really like this game, I'm just sort of creaming over it because it's so much fun. And it's got leaderboards and stuff, there's actually a whole bunch of, um, like, competitive play for this. And I think you can, can you play, like, two player anywhere else? No, it has to, oh, you can play online. I'm going to play some online, swag. Oh god, I just said swag, didn't I? I'm going to end this now. So, thanks for watching, guys. I've been BTBS. This has been Foul Play. And that uh, concludes my two-part series on Steam thinks I should play these games, so why the fuck not? Um, all the information for this game will be down in the description. Be sure to leave a comment telling me any games that you think I should check out. So that um, Not check out, sorry, this is has a butchers. Checkout was one of the names I wanted to call this series, but I couldn't because someone else used it. So, well, as a butcher's is what I settled on. Anyway, be sure to leave uh, any games you think I should have a butcher's at and show off to everybody else down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.